Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stray Topics Podcast. I am Abe Walker. I'm here with two of my best buds. Eddie, how are you doing, Eddie? I'm doing pretty good. And Troy? The fossil. Hey, the fossil. The fossil. Fossil. Eddie, the millennial. We Eddie haven't come millennial. up with anything for me yet, but that, I'm well, sure that'll electric come. Lips. <laughs> electric lips. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that don't know, when we first started this podcast out, for some reason, when I went to talk in the mic, it shocked my bottom lip. <laughs> And that's why he sounds like he's in a in a dungeon. <laughs> Speak into the microphone. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about gaming. All sorts of gaming, from consoles to phone gaming to whatever we have played with in the past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. whatever types of okay. gaming we played in the past. I've stepped into that way. Could be. But anyway. And old folks versus young folks as I to what they I'm, game. You're referring to me as the old folk, right? Well, yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. Well, you did make your own games. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I made your own games. <laughs> we did. That Nails and right. wood. I knew you created Monopoly. What we the heck? Did, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, we talk about young people today when they game. It's oh. it's like off the chart intense. Yeah, man, it, they get crazy. It's not yeah. really fun gaming. Yeah, if it's you almost ask me. like like uh, kill, kill, like kill. war. Yeah, it's kill, you know, kill, you ever kill. Been in a room with one of them when they're playing it. I mean, they're so serious about yeah, this. And they're just intense. Yeah, they throw the hey. microphone. Oh, not the, <laughs> the, the microphone. Throw the, throw the <laughs> controller. We throw the microphone. They throw the controller against the wall and beat it to death. I, I was going to say I did that yesterday. Imagine that. I w- and I don't game a whole lot, but I was playing. NFL football. Pokemon? No, I would. Yeah. I like Pokemon, by the way, yes. But I was oh playing Lord. NFL football game, Madden 20 or whatever. Here and, we go uh, with the yellow again. My kid wouldn't stop, and I threw the remote because I messed up. At him. How old is your child again? He's three. You and, threw it at him? You threw the remote because your kid wouldn't stop? He was hanging onto my leg, and I was trying to shake him off. <laughs> Oh. oh, so you well, were playing, playing the game, and he was hanging onto your leg, and so, so you got mad and threw the remote. Yeah, I did. At him? No. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's child abuse. Yes, yeah. that would be. <laughs> we don't advocate that. We do not no, advocate don't. that. Please don't. We don't do that. I just threw it. But I was good after that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> momentary lapse of reason. <laughs> I got a little bit of fun facts from Oh, you. imagine that. Here fun we go. Fun facts. Here we go. <clears throat> to start me off. Fun facts. My head gets bigger. Okay. Yes. So the first video game. Or per, whoever created it. Ralph, it was me. Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> you created it. That's true. <laughs> Actually. While he was out chopping wood. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph Barrar. B-A-R-R. You need to quit these fun facts. Well, you can never say anybody's <laughs> name. Yeah, just cut the names out. A, a German immigrant and inventor created the very first home video game console in the late 60s. It was simply called the Brown Box. And it later came out to be known <laughs> as the Magnavox Odyssey in 1972. After I had one of those. It was out in the woods. Show the age. <laughs> the Odyssey. Yeah, Magnavox was big with that I remember Odyssey. that Odyssey. Yeah. yeah. Bringing back memories, huh? I wasn't alive. <laughs> I wasn't alive when it was made, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, it's all right. You had fun, right? <laughs> the Odyssey, and then we had stuff like... Um, the Atari, the twenty six hundred. Yes. The Atari twenty six hundred was the first real big mainstream. But before that, we had yeah. Pong. Remember Pong? We had Pong. I remember Pong. playing that. You had the little knobs. I had that. That was that was <laughs> the start of video gaming in, in my experience. Yeah, it was actually. I guess I guess the Atari is the first joystick. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did have the first joystick. That's correct. That's what I was wondering. I was, yeah, I was, my mom she used to play the Atari when. Uh, actually, what's is funny because I know the creator. of... Was from Germany, but not for Atari. But we lived in uh, Germany, and my wife, my wife, my you mom. lived in Germany. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, you were like married back then. Like uh, a year, yeah, you were married. Up. Like a year, uh, I was, a, I was a, um, like one. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't play them. Of course not. <laughs> so my mom, when she get you bored, she played the Atari. Yeah, no. Pitfall or whatever that. Yeah, game that was, was a fabulous I game. Remember Pitfall that game. on the twenty six hundred yep. was the game. Yep, I played that game over and over and over. Loved it. Of course, the screen kind of was repetitive, but yeah, it only had like three screens. It seems like it was back in the you, <laughs> you, you either jump over the alligators, you jump over the water, or you fall in the hole. That's it. <laughs> One of the three. That's it. Sounds like a lot of fun. But you know, gaming back in back in for, for older folks like mm-hmm. me and Eddie, you the millennial, you don't even understand. Probably we had arcades back in the yeah. day. Oh man, I don't. 
I swear, if I had the money, I would open a retro family arcade. What yeah. And it would do tremendous business. I don't know. I, I don't know if it would or not because so many people now would not they're love lazy. those games they, because they're so ruined with the graphics and all the things of today's But games. that's not what makes a great game. I agree. I'm ruined by the graphics, too. I will say that. It's I agree. Thing. It's gameplay. But the thing about it is they don't know about that. In today's world, the kids, you take a, a, a game <clears throat> we used to play. Yeah. And you put it out there, and you take one of these new Xbox One 4K games and stick them side by side, they're not even going to look at this as the older one. Well, that's true. I even guess, if the older one is a much more fun game. But people it. our age, I think, would come out for games. So, yeah. You know, if you can have a, a good, clean family arcade, maybe have a, like a... I don't know, like an ice cream shop or something. Well, in there it used too. to be, you know, down here at Twilight, the bowling alley. Yeah, had the yeah. arcade next to it. That yeah. was the thing back when I was growing up. That's what we done. We got in the car on Friday nights and we did what we did. We cruised. We cruised. There was yeah. a little circle that you would cruise. You'd go down by McDonald's and all the way down all to Twilight. Circle around the Twilight parking lot and then back up hmm. and turn into McDonald's and come back around it and do that over and over again. <clears throat> you ever tie, try tying a string to a quarter and putting it in, pulling it out? No, no, I don't think that works. Do people actually. ever do that? I don't know. I've sure heard of people do trying to do that, but I think there's a mechanism in the actual oh, arcade yeah. machine that We're stops smart. it from coming back out. That's yeah. millennials would have tried it. Yeah, you would have. Lost a quarter. <laughs> but but no, we did the circle thing, <coughs> we, you know, where we did the cruise. And uh, all of it was in hopes to, we, we, you know, we were guys and we were cruising around there and we were look, we were thinking, oh, we're going to talk to these girls and, and we would never say a damn word to them. <laughs> you know, we'd just little ride around. We were scared to death of them. We'd, it was crazy back in the day. But really and truly, that we went to the arcade. We would play Arcades games. Arcades really was the first, I guess, you know, video yeah. game thing. But as far as home, you know, bring it home and play it on your TV kind of thing. Yeah, the 2600. The 2600 was the the big one. Yeah. 2600 was the one I just named off or something else? It was an Atari. Yeah. Okay. And then I we went that. into the rules of doubling. What? We go from 2600 to 5200 to 7800. Yeah. It was funny. I mean, it's yeah. kind of like memory was back then, too. Yeah. And that's probably what it really was. <laughs> the yeah. 5200 probably like, had more Oh, memory. we'll make it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll, yeah, well, it yeah. yeah we'll call it the 5200. It's double. Better. Yeah. You know what I find odd, though? Uh, that you even know what we're talking about, <laughs> but you don't. I don't. Yeah. Well, you He's know, <laughs> when you hear when you hear of older folks who play games, especially now, like, I don't know, you always still consider it as it's supposed to be a kid-type thing. Sometimes I'm a little you mean embarrassed to older say older folks? <laughs> well, even me, like, I'm sometimes I'm embarrassed to say I've played games because it's like, well, you need to grow up. It's time for you to get older. And but that's something oh, that's going to yeah. happen. I think, yeah. you know, I, I, I know where you're coming from, and I, and I see that with myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel a little strange playing video games because my father never played them. Yes, my, exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, yeah. he didn't do this when I when he was no. my age, but he didn't have it. No. Had he had it, he probably would have done it. Yeah. I wonder. So, you know, it's just where you where you grew up. We grew up with this stuff, and so yeah, we're gonna play it. And you, and your millennial self, will be playing them farther into your life You're than right. we did. You're right. And, and and my kids will play video games probably all their life, and until there's something new comes around. So what you're saying is, the boomers and the Generation X and the millennials have something in common because uh, we play video games. Uh, yeah. The, 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 the beginnings, you know, I, I'm on that beginning cusp, a, yeah, a little yeah. bit farther in, and you are totally immersed in it. So yeah. I, I will play it uh, as, as <laughs> up you were, but, but, but you were born with a joystick in your hand. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I appreciate it. But, but one thing you find out as you get older those reflexes don't seem to work like they used to did. Start and so, shooting the floor out like yeah, that. Yeah, so, you know, here hey, you are. I'm very good. I'm that, good at that. That aggravates the life out of me, you know. I think everybody knows the best game of, the, of today is Call of Duty. Yeah. That's it true. is what everybody plays. Like it or not, that's the game of, uh, that, that people will stand in line up here at the GameStop <clears throat> to get on, on launch day. That's true. <clears throat> now, the thing about it is I wish that Call of Duty would get it right. Mm -hmm. Quit get putting us in rooms just with random people. Preach, brother. Preach. Because they'll put me that suck. I can't, I I can't shoot nobody. <laughs> and they'll stick me in with some cat that's like a master at this game. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he gets he gets like 80 kills in a round. That's why I And just... I'm 79 of them. 
<laughs> well, that's, you. that's why I'm standing in the corner killing myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way to get a kill. Down, blows uh, him up. Just going to shoot myself because that's I the only swear. kill I'm getting. No, I, I'm serious. I, you know, they need to, to have a better way of, of putting people in rooms that match. Matching their skill match level. Match skill yeah. levels. Because I don't want to play with people like that. Mm-hmm. I'm nothing against people like that. It's not fun. I hate people I'm that jump you. around and you can't shoot them. And it's like, Sin, stand still so I can shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's some. There's some yeah. It's like there are people. And uh, this will bring some controversy to the to the podcast. Uh-oh. <clears throat> there are people who lay around on welfare and do nothing all day but play video games. I'm yeah. sorry. And if you're one of them, hey, get a job. <laughs> that anyway, a I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> There are people who have nothing better to do with their time than lay around and play video games. Yeah, I well, can see that. I don't have that luxury. And so when I get online, you know, I can't do like they do. And so, you know, they need to match us. If, you, if you're one of those yes. guys that play 23 hours out of a 24-hour day, then you need to go play with these people over here. Yeah. And if you're one of those people like me who plays one hour every three weeks, yes, you belong over here. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree. That was Troy's hot take. And then, and then things kind of progressed a little bit. I mean, we started getting into computers. You had the Commodore VIC-20. Actually, I had the Atari computers before the Commodore VIC-20 came yeah, out. Yeah, the Atari 400. And 800. 800. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, four, the 400 had a touch-sensitive keypad, and the 800 yeah. had the actual keys. Keys, yeah. 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 That's yeah. the difference. Out of all consoles to last, to be honest, PCs have lasted the longest, if you think well, about it. Well, but PCs was... Uh, yes, that's true, but... That's before PCs. You when Commodore and Atari had come along with their computers. Commodore sixty four was one of the most popular gaming computers of all time. It was very good. The, the Commodore was good. I had an Atari four hundred growing up. I did too. So we didn't have very many games. No, you posted on Facebook. <laughs> we didn't have Facebook. <laughs> we had Cannot. bulletin boards. And see, that's yeah. BBSs. I remember mm-hmm. and. For some of the, some of you older folks that may listen to this, you may remember this as well. Back before internet was internet, mm-hmm. we uh, dial up. yeah dial up back in those days. We didn't have all these like when you go to the internet now. You pull up Google, you do some search, you pull up a web page. It's all fancy and nice. We yeah. didn't have that. No. There were no web pages when when the internet started. No, and so we had to create things called a bulletin board system. Like you built your toys. Pretty much. And I remember <laughs> I remember starting a bulletin board back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought a computer, bought a modem, bought all this stuff, and put up a bulletin board uh, for people to call in and, and get on. We had some games on the mm-hmm. bulletin board. We had... Uh, it was like Facebook, but it was uh, like a personal Facebook. But it was Face- nothing... It didn't look anything yeah. like Facebook. No, it was just a- basically... Mono screen, your mugshot on there. No, Not pictures that. you couldn't even put pictures. Listen, the, that this was before you could get pictures onto the to yeah, a page. This yeah. was before I was born. You drew <laughs> in order to get a picture on the page, you pretty much had to draw it with symbols. Remember how they would draw? Oh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know what they, they call that. ASCII something. or yeah, something. it was ASCII uh, art. Yeah. yeah, what year is this you're talking about? It was uh, 1982, you know? 82, it, was, it was down there, yeah, That's in, what I thought. in the in the early 80s. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. See, and you'll never know anything like about that I because don't. that didn't exist. And see, and what's really funny to me is, is your children, like we said in one of the other podcasts, they will think the cell phone has been here forever. They That's will never true. know a time that this was never here. Yeah. <clears throat> and and so it's kind of wild. It is kind of wild. I agree. Well, I mean, you know, the computer games is one thing, and then stuff started jumping into consoles. You know, you had the the actual Nintendo Entertainment System came out, and that blew everything Nintendo, else out of the water. Yeah. The, the original one, you know. I'll tell you something <clears throat> cool. My mamma, she passed away this past uh, last she, year. She played with Nintendo. Yes, she played Nintendo. She loved Mario and all that. She props she, to her. I sit there and watch her play. She she let me play just a little bit, but she she wouldn't let me play much. She wanted to play. You know, if you if you look at all the consoles, Xbox, PlayStation, mm-hmm. Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And if you go up here to GameStop and talk to these guys, they'll tell you that the Nintendo games hold their value yeah. more than any yep. other console. Yep. And, you know, although Nintendo doesn't have, and, and they do now, they're getting better because yeah. they got the higher level graphics and right. the Switch and, they're, and they're, they're trying to be- become a little bit better machine, but their games are usually pretty phenomenal. 
Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, all the, Mario really, titles. all the Mario Brothers. Listen, if you want to play a really good game, get a Switch and play Zelda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Breath yeah. of the Wild. Yeah. That should have won game of the year. It may have. I don't know. But if it didn't, somebody needs to take a whipping. That game was phenomenal. Eddie. Did you play? I'll take the whipping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whipping boy. Yeah. Uh, what about Double Dragon? Did you play it? In the day, I yeah. played that a long back time ago. A few days ago. I like that. The red See, when I got into computers back then, playing video games, I was playing what's called role playing games. Not <laughs> talking about D and D and that paper yeah. stuff. I'm talking about a true. Um, it was called Alt, It was called Ultima, and oh, okay. uh, I got into it. You know, maybe the third one in the series. There was a series of them actually about um, eight or nine of them actually nine, I believe before Ultima Online came out. And uh, we used to play these games, and they were a lot of fun. The graphics were very crude back then, obviously, but they were really good. And I even told my friend Mark, I'm like, you know, it'd be great, you know, if we could play in the same game together, this game, and both of us be in the game at the same time. And of course, Revolutionary of course that actually happened. Yeah, so, yeah. nowadays you can play like yeah. that together and online. That's fun, though. <clears throat> That's really cool. Of course, you know, then kids don't go outside and play outside, so. Well, video games have yeah. taken away a lot of the outdoor stuff. You know, when I was growing up, we played football, backyard ball. That's all oh, we yeah. had. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, they, they, they don't even play. If they're going to play ball, they don't play it outside. They play it on the video game, and they don't even have to be in the same state together. They can play it online and That's play true. each other. That's true. You have friends all over the United States, you know. Well, you got, you got them, you know, they talk about seeing all, you know where your friends are at. You didn't have social media to find out where your, your friends were at. You'd see all the bicycles gathered around at one house. Yeah. Of course, they'd mm-hmm. be playing probably D&D or whatever it is. <laughs> Y'all play Dungeon and Dragons. Yeah, we but, played um, that. That was pretty cool. Troy's house, it was horses. <laughs> yeah, we played. We, we rode horses. He had a bunch of horses. Oh, you rode <laughs> horses. I thought you No, rode. I mean, he had a bunch of horses around his house. <laughs> I went and bought some oh, horses. Oh, horses. <laughs> tied them up to the, to the trough. <laughs> So everybody knew we were over at Troy's. You know what a bicycle was? Smart asses. Hey, yeah, yeah, he, me. he hadn't made that yet. <laughs> I hadn't made the trough yet. Oh, you're getting there. <laughs> yeah. But you get into the console gaming, they, you know, and then you had Super Nintendo and Genesis. There was a big war between Sega oh, and Nintendo. Genesis. And the Genesis was actually really good. You know, I, I was more of a Nintendo person. I wasn't a Genesis person. Yeah. It, but Mario beat the crap out of Sonic. Oh, Absolutely. Sonic. Mario's and, good. And, like Sonic, and the thing is, you know, Genesis games were, the reason why people had Genesis is because, like, they'd leave the blood and the stuff in the games, you know, yeah. where Nintendo has always had this yeah. very yeah. kid-friendly thing. Hey, yeah, got to give I'm it to kidding. Nintendo, <clears throat> though. They're still here. Genesis is not. So That's there true. You go. That's, That's true. true. I remember going to uh, Blockbuster and renting my first PlayStation 1. Did you all ever rent <laughs> games at Blockbuster, like consoles? No. I did. No, that. I, I mean... They were so expensive. I remember renting video games, the actual games themselves. I remember, yeah. not, but not the console. I remember renting computer games like that, though. Oh yeah, but uh, you know, again, the arcade back in the day—that's where we come yeah. from, Abe. Uh, the big game yeah. in my my day, the biggest of all, was Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. That Pac-Man that was song. the big one. Pac-Man Fever, baby. And we played that uh, forever. I, I don't know how many quarters I put in a Pac-Man <laughs> machine. And then, you know, one day I got smart and figured out the pattern. Yep. There's a pattern. There's, a, there's yeah. a pattern. To, and you can play that pattern, and you can play for hours. Mm-hmm. And so, and the reason I figured out about it, I figured it out. Cheat codes? No. Well, I had some cheat codes. But, but <laughs> I was at the arcade one time, and I wanted to play the game, and some dude was on there for hours. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is wrong here? And so I got found out this dude knew had, the pattern. He got the book and knew the pattern. And so I was like, well, I'll get that and figure it out. So I would be the one playing it for hours. And yeah, it worked. Sort of like the Rubik's Cube. Do they do they ever <laughs> end? Like Donkey Kong, I guess it has a last level. Does it have a last level in these? Like No, no you just play. There is a last level, but I think you play it over and over again. Yeah, it starts repeating the levels too. Like you get oh. to level 99 and it goes back to level one. So but it's, it's about the journey? But it's much faster. It's like it gets faster and faster and faster each time you play it. And eventually you just get tired of playing it and you just kill yeah. yourself because you're just tired. But yeah, Pac- <laughs> Pac-Man. Well, there you go. I think there was a pattern for Miss Pac-Man. If there I'm was, not mistaken. yeah. Um, and Pac-Man Jr. at one point. I never played that one. I didn't and, play that uh, And then there's some of the other cool games back in my day. Joust. Joust was Joust? pretty cool. Yep, yeah, I remember that one. Um, Galaga. 
Galaga a, a, a Play classic. the crap out of that game. Yeah. Don't you have a Galaga machine? No, now? I've got... I, I, I wasn't the cool person. They didn't have any Galaga machines, so I bought a stupid Centipede one because oh, my centipede. wife loves Centipede. Centipede, though, was a good game, but it was not as cool as Galaga. Yeah, no, it's not as cool as My wife loves Galaga. That's her favorite favorite game. I do think that it would be a great experience. I didn't get the experience of arcades. I kind of wish I had that because I think it is a lot of fun because everybody's out there, you know, friends are hanging out, playing video games or whatever it is. I just played online whenever I got a little older. That's about it. Well, online wasn't there, see, in these days we're talking That's about. That's true. Right. I didn't have any online. No Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. No, no Wi-Fi. No, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Again, then, millennial, these were days. You'll never know how hard it was growing up <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> internet and Wi-Fi. And the ride your horse and the play games. Yeah, you'll never yeah. know. Well, you know. That's what. But And yeah. then after, now... Everything's on the phone. Yeah. yeah Tablets. You can pretty much get any game on the phone. And uh, I don't understand how you can control it like you need to. I know that you that's the hard part. I, I just you, can, you can play certain games, yeah. you know, that are touch I'm, friendly. I'm not going to play a game on the yeah. phone. I, I, I mean, that, now my wife will play that stupid Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Yeah. Candy my wife loves that game. But, but I'm not going to sit around and play uh, a shooter or something like that on the phone. Yeah. So I, I don't know how you would even con- do it. So it's time for me to bring in Star Wars. Oh, oh no. Here we go. <laughs> so there's a game I do play on my phone. It's called Galaxy of Heroes. Imagine that. <laughs> and you collect Star Wars characters. Well, Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these people, instead of, you know, buying the game, you get the game for free. You can Imagine that. It. Sounds like a millennial thing. But it gets, it gets to be expensive. Like if you buy, you know, are you... You download the game, you're playing, you have to buy certain characters, buy certain things. Some of these people spend thousands of dollars on this little phone game. Yeah. Instead, you go on, you know, you go up here, you can spend 60 bucks and buy a game now. Or well, that's, a, like a, that's a difference in cost. You know, when games first kind of come out, I don't remember the Atari, how much they were. But they were kind of expensive if I remember when they first came out. But as the consoles got a little more and more and more, it started out yeah. like 29 and jumped to 39, then 49, 59. Now it's like 60 dollars for a game and now phone games like you said people spend thousands of dollars on them it's a money racket i mean they they want to make their money but well you know they do they give you the game free yeah that's true because they know you're going to be stupid and buy all these extra oh i didn't things. do that i'm a millennial i don't pay for that stuff no uh, you just steal it i work hard that's why he's on the bottom of all the. that's why you <laughs> I am the worst that's player. why you suck at this game <laughs> but i work hard at it yeah, yeah. Like, look, okay, let me you ask suck. you this. Is it considered well, is it considered cheating if you're paying for these characters? I think so. I me think too. I think you, I think yeah. if they create a game and they make it so that I can buy mm. these cool things and make myself better, then all that does is say, Hey, the man who has the most money, money. is the best player. Yep. Is, is it a, not the same with World Warcraft World of Warcraft? Um well, uh, it's gotten more that way now. It didn't used to be, no. It used to you had to actually find and earn or make yeah. everything you got. And I'm telling you, nowadays Warcraft is it's very spoon fed now to people. I mean, it took me two years of playing that game to get to like level thirty, which was like I mean it seemed like he it was took a bottom feeder. Ever. No, I mean seriously and kids can get on today and within a few days they're level eighty. Oh wow. And it's they can buy things though. to make their characters stronger. And I'm like, that's not that's not Fun. It See. used to be pretty addictive. Is it is it addictive now? No, I, I don't question. think it is. But you know, I'm not. Why don't you make more noise, man? <laughs> Sorry, I knocked over my tea. Yeah. Um. You know, so he knocked over his bottle. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everybody. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think I'm weird. Uh, you put, are weird. Put some more formula in it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, it's not as addictive Similac. as it used to be. Is <laughs> at least for my age now. I mean, I can play it, and I like playing it still. But it's funny because they had to, you know, he had Warcraft, he had all these expansions and everything. And then they went back to Warcraft Classic. Yeah. Because people, it got too complicated. And that's the problem with games today. They're too complicated. They are. You're right. They put so much in the game. And you can do so much in the game that it makes it almost not playable. Right. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I think it can be too realistic, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think that's why I, in our time we liked the arcade so much is mm-hmm. because those games were pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually there was a pattern. Uh, there was just one controller, yep. not and not and and maybe one or two buttons. Not yeah, not eight this. Buttons, <laughs> Good lord! Know. And uh, that's why I'm now there's two joysticks on a controller, X and Y axis, yeah, is controlled differently. And 
And I just, I don't know. The well, games are just too complicated. I'll, I, I can see why people pay as far as for, you know, like the characters, like you said, because if you're playing Call of Duty, going back to that reference, it's hard to be on these guys' levels that are like killing you every you know, two seconds, I get why sometimes they want, they'll let you pay. Of course, they want money. The company does, but it can get you on the same level as some of these other people, unless you're in a different tier system. If it, that's where they should make it is different tiers. Even system. though, though you're on the same level, let's say that, that I, that I, me being the goat, the old fossil, I'll go out and, huh. and let's say that, that I'm playing Call of Duty against some young dude who, who sits around all day and does nothing. And he's on, he's a super yeah. player. And, uh, yeah, I can go out and buy all those perks and all those things, but that still doesn't make me a good player because yeah. I don't have the, the reflex or yeah. I don't have the eye that he's yeah. he, he has created by playing that game uh, right. over and over and over and over all day long. While I'm out working, trying to earn a living, he's at home playing Call of Duty. Every time I played online on any kind of shooting game or something like that, I normally get somebody message me and tell me I'm the worst player they've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. I've, had that, I've had that happen, and and, and it's a it's a, a eight year old. Yeah. yeah, on the other side, I'm, and, I'm like, and, I don't have time to play all day. And dude, let me tell you, <laughs> let, let let's go ahead and talk about that. That's a good point. Um, online parents, yeah. parents. Have you ever really listened to your kids play online? Yeah. They go in their little rooms and shut the door, and mm-hmm. you don't know what they're saying. Listen, I have heard eight-year-old kids that can cuss better than most people that I know. Mm-hmm. Bullies, too. And they talk crap, and they talk yep. trash, and they're eight. Yep. <laughs> Listen, if you're a parent and you're listening to my podcast or this podcast, our podcast, Listen, go into your room one day, your kid's room one day. Don't let them know you're there and just listen. Yeah. yeah. You'll Put be your surprised. Up to the door. You'll be, f- be surprised what you hear. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's that's the thing. You know, these kids, the time spent playing games now. Yeah. You know, we don't play nothing like, you Are know, you sure? He said he put today's. a lot of quarters in Pac-Man. Well, well that's that was different. back then. But what was different? Because, I mean, you actually had to pay money to play. Yeah, I didn't have free <laughs> just to hit the button well, and start long, a new game. How long did you all spend in the uh, arcade? Well, I would no, stay I'd there spend. for an hour or two yeah. as long That's as it? I could, yeah. Oh, your parents wouldn't let you stay no longer? Well, I mean, what, <laughs> we weren't latchkey. Well, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like I had it next door. Here. I had to drive. <laughs> yeah. it, it he, had to his yeah. 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 he had to ride his horse. Ride his horse. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ride my horse to it, man. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, it ain't like you got a car and you can get there in one day, you know. Yeah. It ain't like I just said, hey, Mom, I'm going over to the arcade. It's right next door. No, it was like yeah. 12 miles to yeah. the arcade. Long way. Now you can just turn on your TV and there it is. That's right. See, you'll never know. Yeah, he was talking about how long kids play nowadays. It's true. It's a long time. Well, think about it. If, 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 if I took your Xbox and I took it 12 miles away, and, I, and how often would you play it? Not a lot. Right, but since it's in your home, <laughs> and since it's right there in front of your eyes, and all it is is reach over and get the controller, how yeah. often do you play now? Exactly. A lot more. So yeah, when I can, yeah. Yeah. I actually, doing this podcast, I could have been at home playing video games, but I'm doing this podcast. And most people probably <laughs> wish you were at home playing video games. <laughs> I'm just playing. Kidding. And I, think, I'm kidding. I think, too, because you have it in your hand, you know, with a phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, you know... You <laughs> <laughs> Five year olds again. It's unbelievable. Me and your uh, wives. Yeah. You know, they play that Candy Crush all crap all day long. Four and five hours, six My hours at a time. I'm like, play that. Wow. How? No lie. I'll go home tonight. Like right now, it is what, 4 40 in the afternoon yep. on a Sunday. Yep. I'll get home. Let's say I get home by six o'clock. She will sit. From six o'clock till nine, with that phone in her face, playing yep. that game, playing Candy Crush. Right? And when she's not playing that game, for instance, this game's figured it out too. They give you so much free time to play, right. and then if you want to play, you got to buy some coins or something. Yeah. Well, she won't buy the coins, so she'll right. play until her free time's up, and then she'll flip over to Facebook and do that until her time comes back online. She can play uh-huh. again, and then she'll. F- flip around here and there, and then she'll be right back on the yeah. game. And sometimes this game's gotten smart. He'll give you 30 minutes of free time. Yeah. It's amazing. It's to yeah. suck you back in. She will yeah. stay up. If she wins 30 minutes of free time, she's normally gone, you know, in bed early. Right. But if she, oh, my goodness, she's won 30 minutes of free time, I'm going to have to stay up and because I can't let that free time go yeah. away because once yeah. you turn the game off, the free yeah. time to go. Yep. Let well, me ask this then. 
uh, are women or girls more of gamers now than guys? I think so. I think women tend to play. They're not as hardcore gamers. Well, it depends on the game. But the casual gaming, games. absolutely. They, yeah. but they, yeah. they maybe yeah. the, the Candy Crushes and, and stuff like that. And then, the, then there are some some girls that listen. There's some there's girls some hardcore there. girls too. There's yeah. some girls that can outplay most people on Call of Duty. I mean, yeah. let's oh, yeah. face it. They're mm-hmm. Uh, so I think it's a, a mixture now. I don't think it's just all one sided. I think there's a lot of guys that play, but I think there's also a lot of females that play Call of Duty, and then some of them are as good, maybe better than, than most of us, most yeah. of the male players. So you know, well, they got to be better than Abe shooting the floor out. Well, hey, me and yeah. Abe, we're not we're not hardcore gamers. There's, I like some. I'm some, just kidding. Somebody has to sh- somebody has to shoot the clouds out. <laughs> somebody's got to shoot the environment. <laughs> you know, somebody's got to be the victim. <laughs> we wish we were <laughs> ignored. We wish they would put the environment, uh, make all environments destructible, so yeah. we could shoot the floors out, yeah. the walls out. So if you, you couldn't, if you didn't kill anybody, at least you can shoot the floors. Yeah, out. we just shoot the, the stuff. Yeah. That's, That's what pretty, I'm best at. That's pretty. What fun. can I say? All we, right. We oh. really need to still start a Twitch channel of us. You do. Playing. That's for sure, Twitchy. <laughs> yeah, I do Twitch a lot. <laughs> well, we should. It'd be funny as crap, I think. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, if we're watching video of you. Maybe. Yeah, Twitch, <laughs> Twitch, Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, he's twitching. Well, your son does a Twitch stuff. He's he does. On it. He's twi- I've not watched it that much. I've been on Twitch once or twice and watched, but I don't get into it. I mean... I mean, watching somebody else play a video game, and I can do that. I guess it would be cool if I was wanting to play that game, and I would, was watching it, this guy. He's a good player, yeah. and you know, I could see the levels and maybe get some ideas of th- some things to do. So I can I can understand it, but I don't watch it that much. I uh, I know of a one, ki- or at least a bunch of kids now tend to watch video of the game and play at the exact same time and listening to someone else play that game. Really? Yeah. Is that not crazy? Yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't either. I don't, I, I mean I. I don't know. I guess that's the kind of generation we're in now, where they like social or like the you know the videos and the gaming and all that. All so right. Much. So I got one question for you. What's your favorite game? Oh, this is easy for me. Go ahead, though. I'll be last. No, go ahead. No, I'm going to be last. Oh, you don't know, do you? Yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, it was probably my uh, favorite game of all time. G.I. Joe is Final Fantasy two, two, which actually came out on the Super Nintendo. It's one of the first yes. five games that came yes. out. And I played that game. I mean, it was phenomenal. The storytelling in it. It was just, it was an excellent game. What about okay. you, Eddie? This ain't my favorite, but the new Fallen Order Star Wars game is fantastic. Uh, Wanted to throw that out there. To Actually, I will say that that does look like a very good game. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like so, Pitfall in a way. Although I'm not a big Star Wars fan, I have to do that at every Star Wars reference. <laughs> but nevertheless, it does look like a good game. But if I had to pick... One of my favorite games that I always run back to is going to be the older style Pokemon games. Imagine that. Oh, they're yellow. Yeah, yellow, yellow. yellow, yellow one, yeah. the red one, the blue one. Yeah, the Barbie I don't one. think they had a green one. I think that was only in Japan or something. Yeah, well, yeah. those are good. All right, Trey. My favorite game of all time, undoubtedly best game ever made. Y'all can did you stick make it. it? Yes, I did. No, uh, y'all can stick it. This is absolutely the best game. It was the most scary game. It was the best game. It was Resident Evil 4. Uh, oh, Four. yeah. Yeah. It came out on the, um, uh, the, the, the cube. Dream, the game, cube. Game, the cube. Game cube. Yeah. Fabulous game. I will never forget the first time I played that game. That was the first game where the, the curtains actually moved in the wind. Yeah. The graphics was fabu- cool. fabulous. The gameplay was unbelievable. Scary. It was scary. I loved that game. Best game ever. Which that kind of makes sense because you like scary movies. Love yeah. scary movies, yeah. love scary games. Played a lot. I played all the I, Resident Evils. So you know, when I, I played Resident Evil 2, <laughs> my wife, she used to sit in the living room and watch me, you know, and I... Someone would jump out at me. I mean, I'd throw that controller straight up in the air. <laughs> Scream like a girl, you know. Yeah, it was bad. Man, I, I love Resident Evil 4. I, matter of fact, I've, I own it now on the PlayStation and all, on, you know, any, all the, 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 the consoles that it's on. It, it is yeah. just fabulous. Well, with the new graphics coming in with a lot of this stuff, these games are pretty terrifying. Some, Some of these of new are. ones are unbelievable. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I could I, not imagine playing a VR game that was oh, scary. Resident oh, Evil, the last one, oh, was VR. Was it? Oh, yeah, my god! You could get the VR version. That I would have loved to have played that, that VR. Would be that would be crazy, crazy man. I, I'm telling you. You turn your head. And you <laughs> yeah. Every light in the house will be on as I go to bed. I couldn't do it. That's the way it is always. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil, though, my favorite game. That's a good pick, though. Resident yeah, that's Evil pretty good 4. Now, that, that 4. I played all the others, and they're okay, but 4. It was just the menu. The way that, the, that, that they did the... Uh, 
that, you know, you went out and, and you'd run into this guy and you could buy stuff along right. the way. And yeah. the way they had it, you had a box that you could keep things in. And right. you could upgrade the box and get it bigger. And it was really pretty, it good. Was pretty awesome the way that game that was. Sounds like it. I know my brother loved that game too. My favorite. All right, well, folks, tell us what your favorite game is. You yeah. know, post it yeah. on Facebook, post it on the blog. Well, you know, let us know. You know what you like to play. It doesn't matter what kind of game it is, whether it's phone game, console yeah, game, exactly. PC game, does not matter. Board game, I don't care. Ah, I, that's another thing. There was a board game that we played in Memphis with my son-in-law. I can't remember the name of it though, but uh, it was pretty fun. Real quick, uh, best yeah. board game that you ever played? I know, right off the top of my head. Do Go you ahead, well then, give it Monopoly. Boom. Well, Monopoly's a great game. It just it's takes eight game. years to and play. And Clue. Clue is fantastic. Clue. Uh, yeah, I think I played Clue many years ago. But we There was a board game that my son had back when he was growing up, and this is a kid's game. You got to understand, this is like a little mm-hmm. kid's game, but it was called Peanut Panic. Peanut Panic. <laughs> and, and it was crazy. It, the, it, you had these little peanuts that you moved on the board, and there was this train that was on the board, and and, and, and every now and then you had to start this. You know, if you did something, this train <laughs> would go by, and he would pick your peanuts up and throw them in, in, in like in a, hmm. in a dumpster, and you'd have to start all over. <laughs> it was crazy. I love that game, and you know, I have looked for that game online. I've looked up on Amazon. I've looked everywhere. You can't find that game yeah, anywhere. Probably. Can. I wish I could find that game. Would Some you, retro game place. If you know of uh, this game and you have it, uh, let us know. Yeah, I'd be interested to see. Saves Troy from having to make it. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> he started building his own toys. Yeah. Help him out. Yeah, help like, him out. Uh, little do they know, but I work for Santa. I build toys. <laughs> little elf. <laughs> oh, little elf. He's an angry elf, actually. Actually. But yeah. anyway, again, if, if you would, let us know. Let us know what your favorite toy is. Let us know what your favorite game was. Mm-hmm. And like Abe said, it doesn't matter if it's on a console or a PC or yeah. whatever it is. Game. Board game. We'd be interested to know. So, uh, that being said, are we through with this one? I guess that's it. How about it, Aiden? We out of here. All right. For the Straight Topics, I'm Troy. I'm Abe. And I'm Eddie. The Millennial. (laughs) And we will see you next time on the Stray Topics. Topics.